I mean, it's a unique yeah, situation. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You know yeah, like I said, prior to the season coming, you know, I didn't know much about the season. Ian, for a decade. Great. Sure. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I didn't know much about it. And, you know, once it got here, you got out there, it's like, you know, I saw, uh, I saw uh, a picture of uh, one of my teammates by the name of Akeem Olajuwon. Mm -hmm. The other teammate was a little loudmouth guy that just left your tray. <laughs> and uh, and it's, just, it's just like, man, you know, as much as I <clears throat> talk to people and handshake with former friends you know, like, who are now GMs, coaches, whatever they are, you know, they're you know, like I can say I played against you know, Michael Jordan and stuff like that, and now I'm saying I'm playing against the Trey Young and stuff. All the stars of today, so uh, I'm just very thankful uh, to, to still be around and compete uh, at this level. Still competitive, as competitive, probably more competitive now because I know mm -hmm. the end is near. And, you know, just I just like to compete. And for me, it's a, it's a, I challenge myself every day just to to be able to when I get on the floor just to play my minutes hard and compete. And, and really not to prove to anybody else, but to me you know, that that you know I deserve to be here. You know, that I'm still able to be here. So. Each and every night, I, I probably tell uh, myself, like, man, let this guy do this, do that, you know. But that's just still the competitive nature and the love I still have for the game. So um, I never imagined, you know, playing this long. I, 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 I probably, probably ever said before, for some reason, when I came to the league, I said, I wanted to play 15 years. You know, it's like, you know, some of the the elite yeah. superstars of, 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 the, of the NBA history played 12 to 14 years. So I was like, if I could play 15 years, I'm doing something. And you know, just got to 15 years, and I still feel good. And here I am seven years later, you know, so um, it's, just, it's just an unbelievable feeling. I, I, it, it hasn't really hit me. Like I said, I knew about it coming into the game and you know, checking the game. I still, you know, once I get – once it's game time, I'm locked in on you know, my job and what I need to do. And when I get home, you know, I was like, wow, four days. It's like, you know, I, I've seen a few videos and I just like think about, you know, well, first of all, I look at the, the picture quality when I started. <laughs> and as it kind of moved on, you know, decade to decade to decade, it's just like, all right, it gets better and better. And I was like, in all of these, and then obviously you see some of the guys out there like the David Robinsons and, you know, Armand Gilliams and like I mean I played against all these guys and now you're seeing the stars of the day so it's so crazy. What about being the first guy? You made a guy? great point. Four decades of playing, not just being inserted in the game and not just being on the court, but actually <clears> contributing. <throat> so even tonight, to see the fire as soon as you got in the game, all the way to the waning seconds. What just keeps you motivated to I not just playing. be in, but the playing contributing? I love playing. I love competing. I love, I love love this game. It's been good to me. I've learned a lot uh, from it. It's uh, Giving me opportunities uh, that I probably have never have known, seen, been introduced to. And, you know, it's just, it's, as a young kid, it's just like a goal just to be here. And once you get here, it's like a goal to stay here. And then once I got older, it's a goal to still stay. And, and it was just kind of just different milestones for me personally. And it wasn't, it had nothing to do with like scoring. It was just like, I want to be. I mean, there's obviously there were a bunch of 40 year olds you know, playing in this league, but I want to be a 40 year old still come to contribute, still compete, still able to play out this league. You know, I'm going to play big minutes, but when I'm out there, you know, I want people to know, oh, no, he, he, he belongs. You know, it's not a charity, it's a favor, you know, you're doing for me. So. What about being the first guy? Because a lot that's, of things, you can be 100, 100 points that have been done, 30,000 points, but you're the first guy to be four decades. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's where it's hard to kind of grasp the list. I mean, the, I mean, anytime you're the first, you're like, oh, oh, you know, of course you're always positive. <laughs> no, not a negative stat, but anytime you're the first doing something, I mean, it's always special. Obviously, records are being broken, but it's just like, uh, it was something that probably really was never talked about, thought about, we would probably consider unheard of. And um, for it to, to, to actually happen, it's just pretty cool. You, know, you look in the history books now, and you, you, you talk about, oh, he's played a couple decades. And I was like, oh, there's a guy who actually played four decades. What do you think about that? You know? So, um, and it'll be my name. And uh, regardless of, you know, there are people always like, what do you want people to remember? Well, there's one that I, I, you know, I played this game for a very long time, and I love.
love it as, as much, if not even more now, than I did at 21. And uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. I don't know if, this is, if it's possible for you to do this, but I wonder if you could give like a one or two sentence synopsis of Vince Carter in the 1990s <laughs> and the 2000s, the Twins and the 20s. I, I, just as a player well, and, and as a, a, a president. As a common denominator of, through all of them, and that's just the love of pain. You know, I was, when I got in the league, I was obviously thankful, like, enjoyed every second of being a rookie in the NFL. And, and, and I, I promised myself I would never wipe that smile off my face, and I would never let my love for the game beat me down. And um, I think that's, that's, that's the one thing that's been common in and I can recall many years ago when I would step on the court, I played with a smile because I was thankful to be out there. And I was criticized. You should have a scout with you. And you should you know, play like other players. But my approach to the game was changed. And uh, once people got to know me and just know I just love to play and love the game, they understood that. And I, I vowed to continue. And I think now that I'm a little older, Nothing's changed. You know, I, I don't jump as high. I'm running fast, but you can't you can't wipe the smile off my face because you know, there's not a lot of guys who can say um, that with free agency hit, your phone rang because teams called it because they were interested in your service. And you know that's I'm thankful for that because it's easy. I can beg my way on and call teams like, hey, you know. Maybe I get fair, but no teams to call because we're interested in that. I, I, I don't take that for granted. Well, you're unbeaten this decade. Uh, how about that? <laughs> I'll take it. How does that feel? That's, that's a great feeling. I'll take that. Yeah. That's, that's a great way to go into my fourth decade. <laughs> Have you thought about the next milestone? And what it is? Nah, I don't. I don't think about it, man. I just they, it's too much. It's too much for me to answer. <laughs> the next one is in 12 to 13 games. You'll move into third place all time games played in the NBA. I, but, you know, some years back, even the beginning of the year, um, uh, uh, training camp, I, I said, uh, you play long enough, you tend to pass people. And, and, and I understand that. But like I said, I just, my goal is to enjoy this game and play as hard as I can for as many minutes as that coach that gets me and, 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 and continue to be a difference maker. You know, not, not just for myself, but for these young guys in here. Because I remember the Charles Oakleys and the Kevin Willis's and the Doug Christie's and the Dee Browns all gave me that opportunity. And they helped me become the player that I am today. So that's outside of my stuff just playing. That's kind of what I want to do. And that's what I want to get out of the year is, you know, it was a slow start, a rough start for us. But it's the growth. And, and I feel like if I continue to use my voice and and help these guys, we will get better. And I think you now seeing us play these last two games, the last three or four games, really, you're seeing a difference in our team. You know, just the maturity level, understanding the, 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 the game. And I, I said in the I said the faster or the quicker, the faster we can get, we can help these young guys, help the game slow down for these young guys, the better we will become throughout the year. And I think the game is starting to slow down for a lot of these guys. And they can, they can, you can think a little quicker now. You, it's not, you can read instead of react. And it's a difference because like when you just react, sometimes you're just reacting off of impulse or whatever happens. Now they can read and then make the decision. And that's the difference. And I think now you're starting to see the growth and maturity in the game slow down. So that's my job. I, can, I continue to get in their ear. And, I know a Trey, I know a Cam. I mean, go down the line, just all, you know, John, you, I mean, if you, you can see it, anytime I, I pull guys aside, I'm just trying to help them grow. So.